What's Momo doing? Like, it's like he's just sitting there. Planning his next attack. He doesn't even care. Nala's staring at us. <laughs> Double stabbing flower. And now, right elbow back fist, left elbow back fist, Phoenix spread swings, left stealing palm, right stealing palm. You know how cool it is to watch you guys do kung fu? I had to go to Chinese school to learn about my own culture. I learned line dancing, kung fu, and the language. And so now to see like other people who want to learn the culture, I think that's really cool. I'm gonna wrap around the back, and then I'm gonna step forward in a horse stance and chop at the legs. And my left hand's gonna catch my right forearm. Yep, so from the front view, wrap and cut. My thumb side is up. Yeah, so it's like I'm doing a handshake and I'm catching it as if it's a handshake. Remember, this is gonna be a little bit lower. We're aiming for the horse's legs. I'm always watching you guys on TV. Yep. E. Some. Part the bear. We're gonna go down low. So my fingers are facing towards the handle. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step forward. I'm gonna go low like I'm slicing and then out and around. Yeah, so we got this nice arching motion. So I'm slicing this way and then this way. Common thing is that people will push off to the side. It's a little bit easier to do it like that. We wanna to try to wipe this way. Wiping off all the blood. And then all we're gonna do is just wipe off to the side. So we're getting this big rainbow motion. So just getting that arch. So for the top, we're wiping down. I'm doing a right flick. So this is actually just an upward block. Up and then you're gonna go all the way around to the left side into that horse stance. Yep. So from the front view, up, down, and around. It's the feeling of going almost like I'm doing a big figure eight. So right side, left side, here. So once I go on the right side, and then I have to go all the way to the left side, but once down here, then I can step into that horse stance. The last step is just to add that steel spring step or that crane stance. So now that we have all of this figure eight, now it's the, the front part I'm flicking up with the crane stance, still the figure eight, and then wipe all the way out. Momo wants me to park the kitten. Nice. We're gonna be striking with the back of the sword, and I'm going this way. From the front view, I'm striking so as opposed to striking with the blade, when we strike, we're hitting either with the side or we hit, we're hitting with the back. This is used for, um, let's say someone is wearing a helmet and you don't want to cut them, but you want to kind of like give them a concussion. You want to like slap them, hit them. Um, so there's a lot of techniques where you, you don't want to kill the person or maim the person, but you do want to kind of wake them up or just hit them. So in this case, you're hitting them in the helmet with your sword. Plus, uh, back then in the ancient times w when they wore the helmet, it's not like you could cut through it anyways. So in order to hurt them, you actually had to hit them with your weapon. This one we're hitting from the back side, and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna be in, more in a horse stance. Our left hand is facing down, so it's always opposite. And then when I strike, my left hand's gonna reach out and it's gonna end up facing down. So I'm reaching with the right, I'm smacking. I'm here and just whack. I wanna keep my same hammer grip, but now, instead, I have to turn it this way. So now my fingers are facing up and I have to strike like this. Same feeling, it's all in, in the forearm here, and I'm really trying to smack down on the ball. And so it's the same thing with the broadsword where you're smacking with the back of the, the sword itself. Yep. E. Some. Left hand on the right side. We're just dropping behind the back. Turn and cut. Drop, turn, and flick. So getting that timing of that hip turn and flick. Up and around. This is good for your shoulders too. Once I go behind the back, I want to start turning my hips so that way I allow my sword to come out to the side. So I'm here and then out. So it's really like when it's dropping behind the back, I have to turn my hip early. So I, I allow it to flow out this way and now I have space 
pull it out to the left side. But the skill of when to time it, it's all based on feel. That's really hard. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, much better this time. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> but that's cool. Courtesy and respect. Courtesy and respect. And class miss. Good job, you guys. Have a good weekend.